What is going on everybody? Stabs here, welcome back to another one of my videos. Now this is actually going to be another video talking about the Niwir um, Boom Arm Scissor Stand. Now if you guys don't know, I've actually had this stand for about 3-4 to four months now. And I think it's actually time to make a uh, self review on it. Just, you know, first impressions, stuff like that. Um, I actually did make another video, you know, unboxing this and setting it up. Uh, and if you guys haven't seen that, that will be in the description below. And uh, it'll just bring you right to the video. So, um, without anything else, let's just get right into my thoughts and uh, my first impressions on the stand itself. Alright guys, so right here you can actually see the stand. I have my little pop filter here, uh, my wire running through, and then the stand is actually connecting to my desk right here. Now, um, for the stand itself, it is actually a really, really, really good stand in my opinion. Now, uh, the reason I say that is because... Uh, it's really really mobile you can move it in basically any direction uh, up down you can even swivel it in a little bit more and uh, it's really really good now if you guys can see I've actually wrapped my wire around this with actual tape and just taped it so it actually does run to the side of my desk which does help with uh, cable management a little bit but um, it does help a little bit with cable management these little grooves now the one thing I really actually do like with this is, like I said, it's really, really uh, mobile. You can move around a lot. And um, for the price that it actually was, um, I'm not really sure what kind of mic you have. My uh, mic is actually the Blue Snowball, if you guys haven't noticed. And um, it does support it pretty well. I guess it's not really that heavy of a mic. So um, it does do it pretty good, a pretty good job at it at least. And um, sometimes it does move a little bit, which is kind of a con about it. Um, it doesn't really help, uh, it's not really good with heavy mics is what I'm trying to say. But the good thing about it, um, if you guys can see right here on the other side, you do have a little tightening screw, um, which you could actually tighten the, uh, this single arm here itself so it doesn't turn itself, uh, which does help with sometimes heavier mics, um, not really, I don't really see this working with actually, like, mics as big as the Blue Snowball and stuff like that, which is, uh, pretty, pretty heavy actually. I don't know why I just said pretty two times. But um, that's that. Now, if you guys can see right here, this is where you actually connect it. Um, one thing I do have a problem with right here is if you guys could see this little bolt right here. Um, I, this is not even screwed on for me. And uh, the reason that is, is because this actually holds this, um, the whole arm from actually turning in and out like that. It actually keeps this part right here from uh, actually rotating. Now, I keep it loose just because uh, it's the best way to make this as mobile as I possibly can. Because if I do tighten that all the way, it actually locks it and I'm not gonna be able to push it in and out. And uh, one thing I do notice, it does scratch the inside of this a lot. So if you guys do have an issue like that, just loosen this. This is literally not even tight on there at all. It's just on there just to be there. <laughs> And um, it'll help you move this whole arm in and out a lot easier. Now, um, another thing I have noticed is the bottom part is really flimsy, kind of. It does move around a lot, and like I said, that is just because I do have this tightened down. But if you are planning on not moving this at all, you could just tighten down and down a lot. Now, the main problem I have with this issue, guys, um, with the whole entire stand and the main reason I actually wanted to make this video is because of the clamp that this thing is actually on. Now, if you guys don't know, this is a clamp that clamps onto the side of your desk, which is right here, and then you just tighten it. And um, the one problem I have with this is um, it's not very strong. And if you guys can see underneath um, the actual stand itself, it does leave scratch marks really, really easily. And you do have to tighten it on a lot or else it will not tighten really good. Um, after a while it does loosen up you do have to tighten again I've realized and um, just keep it in mind for that if you are actually ordering this mic stand now the one problem that I had with this that was the number one problem was the mic stand actually fell on me two times and um, if you guys do see the beginning of my stand right here I actually have a hole in the pop filter right here which I kind of did have a little hole before but uh, since I did drop it it was a lot smaller now another thing this thing actually broke with the part of my mic now um, I'm not sure if I could even take this off right now um, but it actually did break this little sign off the mic itself uh, not really a big issue there you go I see I took it off but um, that really shouldn't be happening with any mic whatsoever if this was a more expensive mic and something broke off 
um, I would be pretty pissed about it not gonna lie so I mean I could just snap this bag on place it's not that big of an issue and uh, it's just like back like normal I, I guess not, not I guess it's not staying this time all right I guess I'll just leave that I can fix it later but um, like I said, the only reason it did fall on me though is because I did have my stand all the way out here, which is where I used to actually keep it, and um, that just helped it. So I, you know, I had a full range over here, and it kept it out of the view. So um, the reason I think it actually did fall was because over time, since it did stay here, um, it would lean on this clamp itself, you know, turning it to the side, and uh, it would loosen, and it actually fell. So if you guys can see, there's some separation on here already. If I could try and zoom in, it might make a noise. But uh, there is some separation, so you can't um, completely clamp this onto tables and stuff like that. Um, so just be aware of that. And uh, try not to keep it to the side like this, um, which is why I actually don't. I usually keep it just lowered down when I'm not using it. Just keep it um, straight instead of like that. Because it will fall like this, just give it time. It actually fell on me two times while I was playing a wager match, and it scared the complete crap out of me. So uh, it can damage your mic, just forget that. Don't forget that. And uh, other than that, you guys should be fine. It is a pretty good mic. Like I said, it is pretty durable uh, for the price itself. I remember, I think I got it on sale, and it was $8, I believe. Either that or 8 or 9 And uh, it's a really good stand. So, I hope you guys, I did answer all your questions. And uh, a lot of you guys are actually asking me. Yes, the adapter does actually come inside the um, mic stand. So, you guys just have to unscrew it. My last video is explaining that. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Follow my social media links down in the description below. Uh, check out the last video if you guys haven't seen it already. Peace out, guys.